So my next step, I have sent it with uh, four, 400 sandpaper. And then I'm going to use a uh, tack cloth to uh, remove any uh, dust. Tack cloth. And then I'm going to apply this uh, min wax pre-stain onto the wood. So the, the varnish original was removed using this break-free uh, powder blast. This is an old can that I have, but the new, new package is a little bit different packaging now. But it's the same thing. Okay, put on the pre-stain. Pre-stain. I have uh, applied the pre-stain. Now I just let it sit, let it dry a little bit. Nice uh, breeze from the ocean, so it will dry pretty quick. Okay, it's time to apply the stain. Now, I've been agonizing about which one to use. I have heard people using this one, the Red Mahogany 225, with good results. However, uh, I like a redder color. And I got this one old from a long time ago, called Sedona Red 222 Min Wax. People have used it for their AK stocks to uh, simulate the Russian Red. I kind of like the reddish, more reddish color, because uh, the gun was uh, from Russia and it was a little bit redder so I like to simulate the original so I'm gonna try to use this one Sedona Red okay I got my uh, foam brush dip it in there I stirred up this one but you're not supposed to shake it because then you introduce little tiny bubbles into it which is not supposed to be good well, this thing's been there. It's been uh, I had it for many years. I hope it's still good. Let's see. Put it on like that. Okay, this was the first layer of Sedona Red. I think it's a just a little bit too red. So I think I'm going to do second layer of uh, red mahogany, 225. See how it goes. This is after the second layer of uh, the red mahogany. So definitely it's darker, but also has a reddish tint. I like it. So next step, I let it dry and then I'll put on uh, true oil. However, I just found out that the true oil has been banned in California by the California communists. You can no longer get true oil. Fortunately, I think I have some still stashed away somewhere. When I find it, I'll put it on. So I'm now back in my main cave, as you can tell by the, all the clutter. <laughs> my wife doesn't, is not here, so anyway. Uh, so I'm going to add some uh, true oil onto it, make it a nice oil finish, hand rubbed finish. So I got uh, a little bit of true oil and I'm going to put it on there just a little bit and then start hand rubbing it in. So I'm just going to hand rub it in until the whole stock is done. I probably put in a uh, six seven layers so there are literally thousands of uh, videos on youtube showing you how to uh, do this so i'm not just gonna show everything you know how it goes oh the grain is coming out nicely so i'll just keep doing this after seven layers 
of uh, true oil. I'm done. Nice. This gun is as good as new. Beautiful. Here's a finished product in its military glory with the bayonet on. I just uh, put seven layers of uh, true oil on it and then uh, give it a little polish or give it a little buffing with uh, uh, quadruple art uh, steel wool. Here's a bayonet. Just want to just want to show the action. Butter is loose. <laughs> so this is a battle rifle, so it doesn't have to be that pretty. I like it, looks nice. Here's the other side. Spike Bennett. Can't wait to uh, take this to a hog wild ranch and shoot it. Thank you all for watching.